Then we're ready now to, to fire up our Woodmaster pellet grill for the first time. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, we're inside right now. Naturally, I recommend that this, this is done uh, outside. So you just plug it into a 110 uh, current. And pay attention to what reads on the display here. It just goes through a, a few settings to, to the computer thinks about what's going on. While it's doing that, it just takes a few seconds. Then I'm going to put some pellets into the hopper into the back here. Okay, now the pellet grill is, you come here and you hit the, the on button, and the default setting is 350 degrees. What this does, it automatically starts the igniter. What you're going to want to do is take about 10, 12 pellets, put them down into the uh, burn hopper. Now you want to come back over and hold the prime button. And you're going to hold that prime button in for approximately two to two and a half minutes. And what's going to happen is that naturally that auger right now is, is completely empty. So we put the pellets in by holding the prime button. It continuously moves that auger so that it'll, it'll uh, uh, meter the pellets into the burn hopper. Now you just have to listen. You'll hear the pellets dropping into the uh, uh, burn chamber. Once the pellets, the auger is filled and it's automatically filling the pellets into the burn pot, uh, then each time that you come back to start it, you won't have to run through that holding the pellet prime button because your auger will be full of fuel. All you need to do is make sure you clean the ash away, hit your start button and you're off uh, and grilling. When your grill is in the startup mode, when you're just firing it up, this light on the cook mode will flash until your grill temperature reaches 150 degrees. And you can see right now we have our setting. Our grill uh, is at 350. Our actual grill temperature right now is 160 degrees. So you can see that the light stopped flashing. So now it's on, on the cook mode. To change it from cook mode to smoke mode, all you need to do is push that button. You can see the light will go to the, to the smoke mode. But we're gonna leave it on cook mode here for the initial startup. But just leave it right now on the 350 degrees and just let it run for one hour. Don't look at it, don't do anything, just let it go for one hour before you're ready to start growing.